Oh, today we're talking about um, the fact that uh, when I was much younger, like in your age, <laughs> I, I did I was I did know uh, Alice Cooper. It's my um, you know claim to fame. When people ask if you know someone famous, I can actually say I know Alice Cooper. And back in the day when I knew him, he was big deal. He was really famous. The band was really famous. They were doing Schools Out, which I know you know, <laughs> and they did a lot of really fun songs. Um, and in fact, I toured around with them for a bit in Ontario, and I'm just going to tell you sort of two stories. Well, I'll tell you first how I met them. So I had a friend and she met Michael Bruce, who was the uh, one of the guitarists. And um, she said, they're touring around, you should come. And I said, what, what do you mean? And she said, no, no, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. We're going to fly their plane. They had a private jet. So they were doing different tours in Southern Ontario. I think it was just Ontario we went to. I can't really remember too many of the cities. A few things stuck out though. One was that um, Alice didn't agree with drugs. He didn't like people taking drugs. He wasn't keen on that at all. Um, but what really struck me in the hotel is every time you went to his room, and they usually congregated there after a concert. So you'd go to his room and everybody would be wandering into the bathroom because the bathtub would be filled with ice and Budweiser. That was it. He liked it cold. It had to be really chilled and everybody would have a bud anyway. So it still makes me laugh. I thought it was a funny story. Anyway, so, um, and the other thing that really struck me was um, they were all into trivia, which was really kind of, bizarre but anyway um so and this was before trivial pursuit if you can imagine so but they were always quizzing each other on trivia things they were bright they met each other in high school so that part i knew as well um anyway the one that i knew the best was glenn buxton and he's the only member of the uh, band that's now uh, deceased he did die uh, he never made it to the age of 50. So he lived pretty rough, though. I would say of the of the whole band, he was probably the one that lived a bit on the rougher side. Um, and if you Google him, that comes out, too. They do mention that, which is kind of sad because I thought he was the nicest one in the band. Anyway, the other one that's uh, so one time when we did do the, the touring and we went to Hamilton, um, Alice came to Glenn's room and said, you know, I've got a problem. And Glenn said, well, what's the problem? And he did a song where a nurse would come on stage and put a straight jacket on him and tie him up and then walk him off the stage like he was a real sick puppy. And he said, uh, the woman that was going to do it isn't doing it. And so <laughs> Glenn points to me and I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to do it. Like thousands of people. I thought, oh my goodness. Anyway, Alice said, no, you'll be perfect. I said, no, I, I don't think so. Honestly, I, I, I don't think I want to do that. I can still remember how nervous I was. Anyway, needless to say, I did end up doing it. Um, and this was before the days, you know, that we had everything on our phone. Otherwise I'd have pictures, but I don't. Um, Anyway, so <laughs> holding up the straight jacket and waiting for my cue to go on. And I'm looking out at the crowd and there's like gajillions of people. And it was just, I was just like a shaking wreck. Anyway, I walked up to him. He's like killing himself laughing. Anyway, so tie him up in the straight jacket and walk him off. There's my other, you know, 15 minutes of fame or five minutes of fame. So I was the nurse in Hamilton back in the 70s. And the other really fun one, I think, was, I mean, flying the jet was fun because it was their own private um, plane. Um, so they could go wherever they wanted. At one point, I drove somewhere and then I had to go back and get my car because we took the plane instead. Um, and then the other one that was really fun was the um, uh, New Year's Eve in Buffalo. So that was, you know, with backstage passes. I used to have one of the... I had probably be worth some money now if I still had it but one of the backstage stage um, passes for Alice Cooper concerts but I don't have any of that stuff anymore I have a few of the albums still uh, somewhere in the basement I'm not sure where uh, but that's it so that was the story of Alice Cooper and Glenn Buxton and Michael Bruce those were the ones I knew I really didn't know the uh, drummer or the bass guitarist uh, they were I mean I knew them to see them but I didn't know them by name I couldn't have a conversation with I suppose I could have but never did um not that I recall 
and otherwise it was really fun. I mean, you know, you drive around in limos, you fly around in the plane. And as I say, they were a big deal. So it was really, um, it was exciting. So that's my little story there on uh, um, knowing Alice Cooper. And as I say, that was in the 70s. Um, so that was a long time ago because I'm old. And um, my claim to fame. <laughs>